changing your life one story at a time. This is the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast with Editor-in-Chief Amy Newmark. Hey, it's Amy Newmark with your daily dose of Chicken Soup for the Soul inspiration. It's Motivational Monday, and that's when I get to share with you a cool story that has changed my own life, one that I think will change yours as well. I know I've said this before, but I have a great job. As author, editor-in-chief, and publisher of Chicken Soup for the Soul, I get to read thousands of these stories every year, even including the ones that we don't publish, because we do get thousands of submissions for every book. Sometimes we get as many as five or 6,000 stories for a book that will end up only containing 101 stories. So I am exposed to a lot of stories, a lot of humanity, real life stories from people who are often sharing our personal story for the first time. And that's what I love about these stories. They're from real people who unselfishly share their experiences with the rest of us. Sometimes we and our readers are the first confidants for stories that our writers have never even told to their own families. The stories are always fascinating, and they have a big impact on me. And one of the coolest things I get to do in my job is to make books about topics that I personally want to know more about. So I've always been fascinated by dreams and the things that we learn in our dreams. So last year, I teamed up with one of the nation's most important dream experts, Kelly Sullivan Walden, and we made a book together called Chicken Soup for the Soul, Dreams and Premonitions. The stories in this book show us that we know ourselves better than we think and that we can channel into that subconscious knowledge of ourselves by paying attention to our dreams. So today I'm going to share a story with you from the Dreams and Premonitions book called Tested, Not Arrested, It's by Christy Woods. Christy's dream started with her being pulled over by a burly Honolulu police officer who then asked her to blow into a breathalyzer. Christy was bright red with embarrassment. Why did the cop want her to take a breathalyzer test? She hadn't been drinking and she was driving just fine. She struggled to blow up the balloon in the machine he handed her, but eventually she got it right. And the police officer went back to his car to get a little handheld machine that resembled a calculator. It looked like the ones that delivery people use to obtain our signatures. The police officer came back over to Christy holding the machine and said, you are most definitely lactose intolerant. Then Christy woke up and she realized it was a dream. But on the other hand, she had been having digestive problems. Maybe she was lactose intolerant. She went on the internet And she discovered that there was indeed a testing device for lactose intolerance that looked a lot like the machine she had been blowing into in her dream. So Christy decided she would stop consuming products made with milk. And sure enough, her abdominal symptoms disappeared. She never even went to a doctor. She just listened to that dream. Problem solved. Somehow Christy knew subconsciously she was lactose intolerant. But with all the distractions of daily life, she had been ignoring that until she tapped into the knowledge that her dream gave her. So that's today's dose of Chicken Soup for the Soul inspiration. A reminder to listen to your dreams. Because when you're asleep and all the noise of daily life disappears, you can focus on what you already know. You can learn about yourself. You will tap into that knowledge that you already have but you're too distracted to realize as you hustle through your days. Tomorrow is Tip Tuesday, and we're going to talk about a hot topic, bullying, and one way to solve the bullying problem that we see again and again in our stories. I'm Amy Newmark. Thank you so much for listening to the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast today. I'd be very grateful if you would help me spread the word by telling your friends about the podcast. You can also rate it and review it on our iTunes page. And if you'd like to read more stories and life tips from Chicken Soup for the Soul, Dreams and Premonitions, please go to our website, chickensoup.com. 